Today here on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive, it's a bit of a second take. Last fall we had the chance to spend a week with the Cadillac ATS V sedan with an automatic. This summer, in the middle of summer here, we now have spent uh, five days with the Cadillac ATS V coupe with a manual. Is it pretty much the same car? Are there differences? And after spending some time with a few Audis recently, how does it stack up to those? That's what we'll find out on this episode of rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So we'll cut to the chase immediately here in that pretty much everything we said in our review about the ATS-V sedan last fall applies directly to this car with a couple little things. And uh, we'll link to that video up here, wherever it goes, and you can watch that. You're pretty much gonna get the same things in that that you would in this as far as review. So we're gonna keep this one relatively short in that go watch that one and it's pretty much the same. What I will say, first off, manual versus automatic. When I said get the manual in the sedan review, I was correct. The manual is much better. It's very good with a couple little minor caveats. The gearing is a little long in that you're doing well over 35 miles, you're doing 35 miles an hour-ish when you shift into second gear, and then second gear is good to about 70-ish. Um, the gearing's a little long. Uh, after that, it seems to be okay. Uh, the other thing is it has a cute little gimmick where in dra you know, drag race mode sort of deal where you just keep your foot to the floor and uh, pull gears. You don't have to lift off the throttle and change gears because it cuts the timing for you. Um, you know, that's the that's big thing there with manual versus automatic, and yes, the manual is better. Driving has been pretty much exactly the same. It's, it's a very comfortable car. It's nice. It'll do miles. It gets, you know, ah, all right, mileage. I mean, only about 23, 24 on the highway, which is a little disappointing for a V6. Yes, it's a 450 horsepower V6 with two turbos, but in today's age with uh, all the electronic foolery we have to manage timing and fuel and economy, that seems a little low, especially when we haven't really been hammering it all the time. What we said about the audio system last time is even more true. Q needs to be uh, euthanized yesterday. Uh, we've had a couple freak outs with the Q system here, uh, including once when we were uh, using Spotify. And if I can cut some video in here about right here, you'll, uh, you'll see what it was doing. Quick example here, you can actually hear me talking through the audio system here, but listen up as we're actually trying to Bluetooth music through the Q system. Other than that, the Bose system is Bose. In other words, it's a standard Bose. It's it's not good. Uh, it's again no lows. The the mids are it's very mid heavy, and the highs are like tinny in there. It just it's just not a good system. Uh, it's very disappointing, really, especially in a vehicle that you're going to spend this amount of money on. Coupe versus sedan, well, you know, if it's just you, then you don't need the back doors and it's fine. You can fit two people back there just, again, uh, crawling in and out may be a little more difficult. Uh, well, actually, a whole lot more difficult than with the sedan, obviously. So, again, cutting to the chase and getting to the end. After having spent some time with the Audi TT RS and the Audi S5, and well, this is really competitor for the S5 and RS5, more RS5. Uh, but spending time in that and then having a quick uh, peek in at a, a C63S recently, interior-wise, I mean, it's fine in here. It, it, there's, the materials are all right. You know, again, Alcantara and leather and carbon fiber, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it, it's okay, but without, con without the context of the Audi and the Mercedes, it, it's fine. But as soon as you get into an Audi or Mercedes and you get that context... Okay, then you understand why people say what they say. It's 90% there, but yeah, it needs another 10% interior-wise. Ride quality, uh, you know, it's 
it's about there. But if you were to say, all right, money being the same, what would you rather drive every day? Honestly, probably the Merc, followed by the Audi, and then this. So, if you're wondering why I'm skipping the BMW, it's because I don't have any time in the current M2s and M3s. I, I just don't. I uh, haven't had a chance to peek at them, haven't taken one for a test drive, haven't had one as a press car. So, um, Heather Hugens, get on that for me. Uh, just kidding. Anyways, uh, yeah, it's just I don't have it, so I don't have that to compare it against. On its own, yes, I still agree with some of my conclusions in the sedan that you should go drive it just to see, right? Um, compare if you are a German German uh, car driver or that's what you think you want, sure, go drive it and then drive this and then just either confirm or deny those biases and, and whether they work out for you. Last time I said, well, you know, if they want to give it to us for another week or two, uh, you know, sure, absolutely. Now, yeah, uh, I, I don't have that same passion on this time around for whatever reason. Um, I certainly like the styling of the coupe better. Uh, it's It's been functional, been able to haul stuff, you know, normal stuff, stuff. Um, but yeah, it's it's little things like bits of the interior, the Q system, oof. Um, performance wise, it's fine, mileage is I. Um, but yeah, you're buying this as much for the style as anything else. And in that case, maybe just buy the regular ATS-V and skip the, uh, skip the V. Um, you're gonna save a ton of money. As this thing is stickered, and we'll throw the sticker up for you, it's like 75 grand, which is absurd. Um, especially when, again, Mercedes and the and the Audi and even the BMW at that point. Again, Cadillac can't move these, so you might be able to get 10, 15 grand off the sticker and you're fine and at that price, okay. Absolutely. So, Cadillac ATS-V, give it a shot. It's good, but it's not the best.